In this tutorial we will learn how to do a plain stress model. We'll first start Creo Parametric and a new model. We'll start with a part. We'll give it a name called, let's say, plain stress um, model 1. So what we want to do is create a sketch of a surface and then we'll add uh, some material properties and some thickness to it and then apply some loads. We will first check the units of the system. We can go to model properties and check the units first of all and let's start using millimeters newton seconds by default. and also assign a material to this so that will be uh, one of the steels, let's say a, a low carbon steel so now the material will be low carbon steel and units millimeters newton seconds and then we can select our sketching plane and define a sketch on this so select and this sketch has to be in, on the XY plane so we can first define a rectangle and we can specify them some dimensions on this let's make this um, 200 high and 100 meters wide and um, 100 millimeters from the top edge to the x-axis and that defines our coordinate system and our geometry. We can create a hole in the middle of this, uh, say a circle and we just need to define uh, the diameter of this and let's do a 20 millimeter diameter hole 50 millimeters from the edge so that is exactly in the center. So that's my sketch done and I can create, uh, well select this sketch and can select my sketch first and then create a fill and that creates my surface. So I can apply some loads to it, I can go to applications, simulate and I can define my, uh, for example, the model setup and that will be an advanced model um, in 2D plane stress mode as a thin plate and for that I need to define a coordinate system and also geometrical references which is this surface so select OK and confirm this and another thing we need to do is give this certain thickness so we need to define it as a shell so if you click on shell uh, click on this surface, we can say make this a unit thickness and also apply low carbon steel material to it. Press OK. And next step is to apply the forces and displacements. So we can apply a displacement at the bottom edge. We can fix that surface, the line at the bottom, in the y direction. So we can release it in the x direction and what I can also do is select this point in the corner and make sure that doesn't uh, move in the x direction so that defines it uh, fully in terms of displacement. So I apply displacement and the point and I just need to select this corner and then fix it in x and y. That's okay. So when I apply a force at the top edge, what will happen is that the bottom surface isn't going to be uh, over constrained, then it will be free to uh, shrink effectively in the x direction. So we'll see that in the uh, animations when we are going to do that in the next step. And we apply a force or a pressure, we can do that on the top edge and um, that can
can be, uh, let's say, if we did one millimeter tech plate, unit thickness, and 100 millimeters wide, that is 100 millimeters square. So if I applied a 100 Newton load, that would create a unit stress on, say, a regular portion of this plate, which is about one millimeters, one newtons per millimeter square. So if I applied 10,000 newtons, that will create 100 megapascals uniform stress, if that wasn't the hole. So we are investigating what happens with the presence of the hole, what is the stress concentration. So we can preview that, and that's working in the right direction, and press OK. So our materials, displacements and forces are applied. We can create an analysis. Let's start a static analysis. And we can call this analysis uh, a plane stress. And uh, we'll first of all try single pass adaptive and without any advanced controls. We can do simply run, um, or write, yes. Interactive diagnostics, yes, and effectively run complete in a few seconds. So I'll close that. And we can view the results now. Um, we can view stress for Mises component in megapascals. Okay, and show. So we can see that maximum stress is about 313 megapascals, and the contours represents the von Mises stress distribution on this. Um, geometry.